Hi, my name's Richard. I'm Rachel. Welcome to Aspirations Dance Video Lessons. While the techniques that we're going to discuss in these videos will work for any level of dancer, we are going to be primarily looking at uh, the casual dancer, you know, the kind of person who isn't really interested in the, the pressures of competition work, but just really wants to get onto the dance floor and experience the fun and enjoyment of partner dancing. So let's get things started. <laughs> Okay, in this video, we're going to take a little look at the foundational work of weight transfer in dance because we're going to be using all of this information that we're going to talk about right now in all of the dance videos that we're going to be doing. It's going to become so important. And so uh, one of the things to understand from the early stages, so if you're very new to dancing, is when we ask you to move, what you can often find when people are learning to dance is they try to dance their way into it. But if we uh, are aware that dancing is just glorified walking, we can start to develop um, great movement very early on uh, without having to uh, you know, overextend ourselves or do any strange, weird and wonderful things. What I mean by that is we might tell you to step forwards and you think, well, I'm dancing, so whoa, I'll take this big step forwards, where the reality is uh, we would only really want you to transfer your weight as if you were taking a step forward as a walking step. Now later on as you start to expand your knowledge uh, through dance you're going to find that uh, you will want to extend steps and uh, you know move yourself across the room but that's that's part of the build-up of this foundational work. So if you're new to dancing this is going to solve 90% of the problems you're going to experience on the dance floor. So one of the things to realize early on is actually we only have three ways in which we can move forwards, backwards, or to the side. That pretty much covers everything. Uh, we have closing steps. That's the return to position. Uh, we'll talk about how we interact with those uh, in, a, in a moment, uh, but we're going to take a little look at starting with the forward position. So from a forward step, and this can be done with any foot, but we'll start off with the, the left side. So if you locate your left foot, just lift that heel slightly up off the floor whilst keeping the toe in contact with the floor, it's now ready to go. What we notice there is the weight shifts across to the other side, which means that foot can't be used very easily. So now if we're to take a step forwards, we locate the front of us and we step. And here we get a transfer of weight. Now once we transferred weight, this foot is now free, it has no weight on it, this foot contains all the weight. So we'll take a look at that from a different angle here. Uh, so as I take that step forwards, I move forwards, I transfer my weight. So that's fairly standard stuff. Uh, we do that on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, when we're walking, we're moving from one foot to the next, transferring our weight. But again, it's very easy to uh, adjust that and do something strange when we're dancing. So as long as you can remember that it's just a basic step as if you were walking, then everything's gonna be great. That will solve, as I said, a lot of the problems that you'll encounter. So it wouldn't matter whether that was uh, with uh, the right foot, it would happen, or whether that was with the left foot, exactly the same information. So the information is move the foot in the direction that you're going, put the weight onto it. So when we look at that from a backwards position, again if I step backwards on that left foot, I transfer weight, this foot is free. And again if I step backwards on the right foot, transfer weight, this foot is free to go. And then of course we have the same thing to the side here, transfer weight well, and again uh, to the side here, Again, transferring the weight well onto the foot. And that frees up this foot. A side step can be one of the steps that causes people to start to extend out into lunges, you know, so when you start to find yourself doing that, whilst technically we are transferring weight there, you can see here in this position, I'm not able to lift the foot up. So that's kind of your basic check for transfer of weight. When I take the step, can I lift the other foot up off the floor? And that will tell you whether you've transferred weight well. Now let's move to why that is important. It's important because uh, often when you're learning to dance, you can find yourself working through uh, the left foot, the right foot, which foot does it. And uh, of course, a lot of information out there is delivered in that way. So it'll say, move your left foot here, move your right foot here. 
Uh, but if you're like me, um, I have terrible problems uh, remembering my left and right in the middle of a dance. Uh, although I do wear a heavy watch on my left side to remind me, I don't want to have to remember left and right. Uh, so this is where we see transfer of weight really come into its own because if I transfer, so if I start with my left foot and I transfer my weight well onto that, I only have one foot left that I can use. So all I need to know is which direction will that foot go in, whether that's forwards to the side or back or whether it's going to close. Uh, and that's really key and really important uh, as we see when we start to develop uh, some of the uh, dances um, when you move on to uh, the dance videos. So we can see that if we get good transfer of weight, we don't have to remember lefts and rights because if I start with my right foot and I step out to the side, I don't need to remember that this is my left foot, it's the only foot, so whenever we move, we just move with the foot that's ready to go. If you can solve that and understand that very early on in your dancing, you'll be able to solve 90 to 99% of your dance problems, because most of the time it comes down to transfer of weight. Now we're not really going to talk about non-transfer of weight in this video, that will come a little bit later on. We'll, we'll talk about exceptions when, they, when they're applied as we're teaching some of the dances. Uh, we're only really focusing on that base foundational work, which will get us moving without having to think too much, which is really important for being out there on the dance floor and not having to uh, engage the brain too much, because there's a lot of other things we need to think about, of course, while we're dancing. So the final part of transfer of weight would be the closing step. And one of the early techniques that I talk about in a closing step is as the foot comes in to close, you can see it's moving in here, is to lift the heel of the other foot up so it's ready to go. Again, I'll do that from a different angle here. So what you'll see, actually I'll do it this way. As I bring this foot in here, I transfer and I lift the heel up ready to go. Now it's ready, I don't need to think about it. In the early part of your dancing, it's often the closing step where we close without weight and try and use the same foot again that, that causes a lot of the problems. So if you are experiencing problems uh, at that very base level, um, check out your closing step because if it closes and you don't transfer weight uh, and your partner does, then we've got all sorts of problems that usually involve uh, crunching toes, uh, shouting, arguing, you're rowing, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so take that transfer of weight information, you can use that in all of the base videos, um, and we'll talk about it in the base videos, and uh, we'll keep referring to transfer of weight, uh, and you'll see it coming up all the time. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed that. Do all the usual stuff, give us feedback, like, subscribe, call us in the wee small hours with all your problems. In, you know, if it's important to you, it's important to us. Uh, we just want to make sure you're having a great time out there on the dance floor.